Hey guys, it's Sarah from ExtremeTrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Red Rock HD Tire Carrier for your OEM tailgate, fitting your 07 through 18 Jeep Wrangler JKs. This tire carrier was designed to work with your OEM tailgate and changes the mounting point taking the stress off your OEM tailgate so it can accommodate larger wheels and tires. And it does not affect the operation of your tailgate. Coming in at around $290, this is a budget-friendly way to upgrade your tire carrier. I'm giving this install a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It can be done in approximately one hour and features a direct bolt-up installation with no drilling required. All right, with that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used 19, 18, 17, 16, and 10 millimeter wrenches, a small extension, 13, 18, 19, and 21 millimeter sockets, a T50 Torx, a four millimeter Allen key socket, ratchets, an impact gun, and a block of wood. With our tire removed, we can now open our tailgate and unplug our third brake light. Either by hand or with a trim removal tool, grab this plastic vent and remove it. Press down on this clip and remove this connector. Close your tailgate, grab this rubber grommet, and remove your cable the rest of the way, and tuck it into your factory tire carrier. Now remove the eight 13 millimeter bolts holding on your factory tire carrier. Next, we're gonna remove these hinge covers you can just gently pry back on the top part and then push forward and it should slide right off. For these other hinge covers, you're gonna pull back on the front part here and then pull to your right. And pop this one off the same way you did the top one. All right, so next up, we're going to temporarily remove these hinges in order to install some spacers. But before we do that, we do wanna grab something like a plank of wood to support our tailgate in the center so it does not shift around while we have these removed. Grab your 13 millimeter socket and remove these four bolts. Next up, swing your hinge away to expose the three Torx bolts and remove them with a T50 Torx. Repeat that for your bottom hinge. Next up, you wanna grab the hinge brackets in your kit and line them up with your factory brackets so the three holes align here and the pins align at the top. Now we can get it installed on our Jeep. Grabbing the factory bolts, reinstall these. Next up, grab the flat spacer in your kit and line it up with the two holes on the back side of your hinge. Close the hinge and line up your factory hardware and tighten it down. Grab your 13 millimeter socket and tighten these down. Repeat that process with your top bracket. Grab your T50 Torx bit and tighten these down. Line up your flat bracket and close your hinge. Grab your 13 millimeter socket and tighten these down. At this point, we can remove our block of wood and just check that our tailgate operates properly. If not, now would be the time to adjust our brackets. Next up, grab your backing plate and line it up with the factory holes and install it using the factory hardware. Once these are all hand tight, grab a 13 millimeter socket and tighten them down.
Grab the two eyelets that come in your kit, and you're gonna thread these together. This is gonna attach this plate to the actual arm that holds your tire carrier. Once these are together, slide them into the bracket on your plate, and grab the included hardware, and slide it through your eyelet, and use a nut on the other side. We're gonna tighten these down later once our arm is attached. Now we can replace our larger hinge covers over the top of our hinges. Now we can prep our arm to go on our Jeep by installing the bushings. Flip it up to its top, grab these bushings and they should slide right in. With our bushings in place, let's get our arm installed on the Jeep. Before we can mount our arm onto our bracket, you do want to place these smaller washers on either the top and the bottom. Now we can install our hardware. Make sure that your bushings as well as the washers inside of your bracket are aligned. Once your hardware is installed, grab an 18 millimeter socket and a 19 millimeter wrench and tighten these down. So our new carrier does interfere with these rubber stoppers, so we will need to remove those now. You can do that by just twisting and pulling out. At this point, you wanna swing your tire carrier shut so that it comes in contact with this stopper here. This can be adjusted up and down. You wanna make sure that it's adjusted so it holds this piping in nice and tight. But once that is done, you can grab a four millimeter Allen and a 10 millimeter wrench and tighten down both of these bolts. Using a 16 millimeter ratcheting wrench and a 17 millimeter wrench, tighten down the hardware that holds this eyelet to your backing plate. At this point, you want to align the threaded eyelet so that it lines up with the bracket on your tire carrier. And once that lines up, grab the included hardware and your 16 and 17 millimeter wrenches and tighten this down. At this point, grab the back portion of the bracket that holds your spare tire and line it up with your tire carrier. There is quite a bit of adjustability here and this is gonna depend on what size spare tire you are running. For now, we're gonna mount this right in the center and if we need to adjust it up or down a hole, we can. Grab your hardware with a washer on either side as well as a lock washer. Grab an 18 millimeter socket and wrench and tighten these down. Now we can grab the front part of our tire mounting bracket and slide it into the back part. This is slotted as well, so you do have quite a bit of adjustment either forward and back. And again, this is gonna depend on the size of your spare tire. For now, we're gonna go right about to the middle Grab our hardware with our larger washers and thread them in. Grab your 18 millimeter socket and tighten these down. Now that we have our tire carrier mounted to our Jeep, we can put it side by side with our factory tire carrier and really check out some of the similarities and differences. Now right off the bat, you may have noticed that our Red Rock tire carrier is quite a bit beefier than our factory one. And this is specifically to hold a larger wheel and tire. There's a ton of adjustability in both directions. And this one has a different mounting point than our factory one does. Our factory mounts right to the center of your tailgate here, where this Red Rock one mounts out to the side where your hinges are. This is really gonna take a lot of the stress off your tailgate and allow you to run that larger wheel and tire. 
So one thing to note with this tire carrier is that it does not include a third brake light. So if you do want to keep your Jeep street legal, I would suggest looking into an aftermarket option. Final step in our install is to replace our spare tire onto our tire carrier. Grab a 19 millimeter socket and tighten these down. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of our Red Rock Tire Carrier. Remember, for all things Jeep, keep it at extremeterrain.com.